So the, there was a row of houses along, in fact the houses on this side of the road are slightly older. These yes. were built in the 1850s ah. and they were built for the, the railway workers. Okay, the station, if you go to the end of this road and turn left, the station used to be there and then was moved in the 1970s to where you it mean is that now, the well, railway station. Was it there as early as 1871 or so? Oh yes, there was a station. Yes. This, is, this, is, this was why these That's houses why were railway built. railway street. The well, it was called, originally called Railway Street yes. and it changed to Orchard Road I think in 1888. Really? So not that long after they no. were living here. So we know from the census return of 1871 um, that as the big house on the end, which has now been demolished, was owned by a guy called John Bailey Denton, who was quite an important guy in the town. I and see. then the houses next door, there were people who were um, architects and surveyors. So I clearly see. they were all working together. We think. I see. Yeah. Yes. So, because obviously Godwin was a, an architect. Yes. So, um, and I think this was the time when his business went a little bit uh, pear shaped. Because he was building, he, they, when they eloped, they, they lived in Wheat Hampstead in a rented house. And then he decided to, to build a super duper house for the family. But uh, I think he then ran out of money. I and see. And we think that's probably the reason why they moved here while the house was being built. But at the time when they came here, mm -hmm. which was just a few months before Craig's birth. Well, we don't actually know the date they came here, but we know from the census that they were here 1871 April. I, Craig oh, was born, quite, quite well, it's nine months before he was born. So, yes. So he was born January 1872. Um, and we know that from the from the registration of the But did they the know birth. that he was on the way when they moved? Who You're knows? You're not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Um, hmm, April to, to January? Probably not. Probably not. Uh-huh. And Edie at that time was three, and she is on the census return. So it was Edwin, um, it was Godwin, Ellen Terry, Edie, and there were three other people living with them, two servants. Servants. Some, two servants and somebody who's described as a boarder. Um, a young girl of 15 who came from Kentish Town, so whether she was a family friend, because that's where Ellen's parents lived. So it's all, ah, so it's, it's, it's quite interesting. It certainly and is. And what, what is really interesting is on, on the census return, they are not absolutely accurate with their names. Oh. Um, she has called herself Eleanor Godwin. Uh -huh. um, he is described as Edwin Godwin. Oh. So then, but that could be, you know, somebody putting it down wrongly. But yeah. interestingly enough, on the birth certificate, um, she describes her maiden name as Ellen Watkins. Ellen Watkins. Really? Now, of course, she was Ellen Watts, wasn't she? Because she was still officially married to to her first husband, George Frederick Watts. Yes. So it's a little bit of manipulation yes. of the name. Yeah. So it's all quite interesting, so, yeah, but really. this is this is obviously the Victorian times and the stigma of illegitimate children. So. Well, what I had always thought, not knowing the things you were you were telling, uh, I took a, a simple view of it. I thought uh, Ellen was so adored, but at the same time, the time was so puritanical that she could not give birth to a child unmarried to the husband so the thing to do was to get out of London yeah I, think, you know, yeah. I saw it yeah. there in my yes, mind's yes, eye yeah. yes no I don't think it's quite as simple as that as uh -huh. I say they they um they they, they moved to Wheat Hampstead and they were in a house there yeah then suddenly they moved to Stevenage for somewhere maybe between 18 months two years we're not exactly because we don't we can't find out the exact beginning and end dates but we do have the census return and the record of the birth oh, so, so it's it gives us a um, a bit of a, um, a really, handle, really. but, but not, yes. a, not a totally accurate one. So it's fascinating, isn't it? But well, the house, the house is it. basically, it was this double house. Yes. Um, but clearly two separate front doors, so it was two different families. And you can see the date up here, 1864. So it was only literally built five uh, years, no, uh, seven years before ah. before the, the family were here. So it was a very I new see. house at the time. Yes, quite. So it's, it's fascinating, isn't it? Well, apparently the whole neighbourhood was quite new. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. because of the railway. 
Could I sleep. ask you one thing more that yeah. you might know? I'll try. Uh, how long did they stay here at all? The we family? don't know. We don't I know. See. But not very long. Uh -huh. Not very long at all, because then we, we there are stories of them being back in um, in another part of Hertfordshire, a place called Gusted Wood, where the house was, and I think that's when um, Ellen had an account an encounter with Charles Reed, the director. Oh, yes. And he, the story is, he was, she was out with the children, and he was hunting, and he suddenly appeared over a fence. Yes. Have you heard the story? I've read, yes, I've yeah. read it. And yeah. he persuaded her to go back on the stage. She then went oh. back on the stage. Yeah. Godwin wasn't very happy about it, and yes. uh, probably left. Basically, I think. Oh, I, see. Um, I think that's the story, basically. Well, yes, it might be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but who knows? Who knows? because Ellen destroyed all her diaries, didn't she? So, yeah, yeah, um, indeed. You know, as I say, I think perhaps some of the things she told her family were not 100% accurate. I see. I see. That could be, of course. Yeah. And then Edie was here, as you Edie said. was definitely w here. When you said a yeah. boarder, at first I no, thought... No, 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 th th this was a girl of 15. No, no, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah, uh, I can show you the, the, a copy of the, the census. No, I, because of the midwife who I... I you we don't. Know. We don't know. The only the only midwife story I can find out is the house where they lived originally. Um, the doctor there, his wife, his second wife was quite a bit younger than him, and I think she was a nurse. And then she then became friends with Ellen and um, was a companion to her in later life. That's Mrs. Rumble, and there are certainly pictures of her down at Smallhive. Isn't that something? So she was a long-term family friend. Uh, but this story of the midwife, I think, is, you know, a yes, little, you a don't little bit... Know. We don't quite know the, the true facts, basically. Oh. Uh, well, even if things are not quite known, to have this much open information... Absolutely. ...is yes. very thrilling for yes. me. Well, it's, we, we think it's interesting because it, it contradicts some of the history books, which is, yes, which I is quite... Uh, which, is, which is really good. And yes. you know, we, we have the proof with the birth certificate and the, the census. Yeah, it's so. wonderful. <laughs> wonderful.